Hello managers and welcome back to another video. Today I will show you some tips and tricks regarding the new challenge in top 11, called the Unite Cup, a Spanish rivals challenge. If you are looking for a place where you can get help about everything regarding top 11, I will recommend joining my Discord servers, where you can find managers from all around the world, playing and talking about top 11. If you want to join my server, the link is in the description below. But before we jump in, a small percentage of people that watch my videos are subscribed. So if you like this video, consider subscribing, it's free and you can always change your mind. Enjoy the video. Before we get into the video, I would really appreciate it if you use my referral code. In order to use my code, go to options, then settings and under social accounts copy and paste my code. It will be in the description below if you want to use it. It helps us both out on the game. You can use it within 7 days of joining the game. Let's play and win great rewards. Spanish football is celebrated the world over not just for its style and innovation, but as home to some of the game's greatest and most passionate rivalries. Team up with your association teammates and take on clubs inspired by incredible history and passion that make up this special football powerhouse. This challenge also gives you some points in the special sponsor pass. As you can see on your screen, you will need to play 4 matches in the Unite Cup in one season day to gain 50 points. Now I will go through the rules and overview of this challenge. Get your FA ready to face some of the most intense Spanish football rivals. Progress through phases by scoring goals and winning matches. Come up with a winning strategy for your FA to complete all phases. Rules for the Unite Cup Challenge You play this event with a football association you are a member of when you first join the event. You cannot leave your association during the event. This also applies for the post-event period. Bonuses earned by training with association members don't apply in this event. Score the required number of points in each phase to unlock each reward. Your FA total progress in a phase is the sum of each member points. Each goal you score brings you one point. Winning the match will bring you three additional points. After reaching a new phase, you can keep playing the previous one to unlock further rewards. Matches don't impact upon players' condition, morale or injuries. Card suspensions don't apply from one match to another. After you use a free challenge, it takes 4 hours to recharge. All matches are played in ideal weather. Now let's talk about some tips and tricks you can apply in this event. Like I said earlier in the video, this event is for the entire association. This event has 6 different phases with 2 opponents in each phase. As you progress throughout the phases, your opponents become stronger. Phase 1. In the first phase, it's the easiest phase of the entire event. You need to get 90 points if you want to Magjut and get all of the rewards. This phase gives you small rewards, and my tip for this phase is as soon as you unlock phase 2, go ahead and play there because there is no point in wasting your charges in this phase for 3 moral packs. The opponents in this phase are easy as well. For the first opponent, or by name Turia FC, you can use the following formations to counter his formation in order to beat him. You can use 4-1-2-1-2 narrow diamond or 3 narrow 4-1-2. It's up to you which formation you will choose, but choose the formation that you know how to manage and you have the players to make it work. Second team is El Castillo Amarillo FC. Another easy opponent, as you can see his quality is like 10% lower than mine, but it's different for everyone. He uses a 5-3-2. This is another easy formation you can beat if you use one of the following formations. 3-3-2-1-1. Phase 2. Moving on we go to Phase 2. Another two opponents that are quite easy to beat. Again like I said in Phase 1, you can play until you unlock Phase 3, because the rewards in this one are bad as well. First opponent, Pantorinos Rojos. Almost the same quality as mine, and he is using the following formation, 3-4-3. Another simple formation. To counter this formation you can use the following formation, 4-5-1-V style. Second opponent, Donostia FC. Same quality as my team, he is using the 4-3-3 formation. You can beat this formation by playing the following formation, 3-1-4-2. Phase 3. In Phase 3, opponents start to get tough, but it's not a big jump from the opponents from Phase 2. Here the rewards are again very bad, and my tip is to unlock Phase 4 and get there as soon as possible. First opponent. AC Hispalus. He uses 3-3-4. This formation is so easy to counter because you can overload his wings and attack down the flanks, because he has no player to protect those areas. This formation can be countered using 4-3-3. Second opponent, 
Los Grandiosos. He is using a 4-2-1-3, another balanced and attacking formation. But in order to counter this formation you can use the 6-4-1 or 3-2-3-2. Phase 4. In Phase 4 rewards stay the same, and I think sometimes these types of events are not even worth doing, but here we are talking about them anyway for managers who like to compete and try to get the best rewards. Again like I said for the past 3 phases, try to skip this phase as soon as possible. Here opponents get tough but the rewards are not that rewarding. The first opponent is Pescadores Jai Joneses. He is using a very defensive formation. 4141. This formation can be countered by using the following formation 352V style or 4312. Second opponent is El Fontanizel. He is using a 532 formation. This formation can be countered by the following formation 33211. Phase 5. Now we are with the big dogs. The opponents are about 20% higher than you team, and the rewards are okay once again. The first opponent in Phase 5 is La Fuerza Azul. He uses a 4-4-2 diamond midfield formation. This formation can be countered by using the following formation. 4-3-3 or 3 narrow 4 one, two. The second opponent is FC La Pedrera. Another hard opponent to play against. He is using the following formation. 4-3-3. This formation can be countered by playing the 4-2-3-1. Phase 6. This is the last phase of the event. When you earn 90 points you have the chance to get yourself a 7-9 star player. But the opponents in this phase are very hard. First opponent is Madrid RB. He is using a 5-3-2 formation. This formation can be countered by 3-3-2-1-1 or a 4-1-1-2-2. Second opponent is RCDL 4-0. This is the hardest opponent in the event and he is using another 4-3-3. This formation can be countered by playing the 4-2-3-1. If you complete all of the phases you will earn the following badge well i went through all six phases and gave my tips and tricks regarding this event is this event worth doing i don't think so it's probably the worst event you can get because the rewards are so bad and it's not rewarding for a lot of managers but if you want to try go ahead and try it you won't lose anything in the end well that's it for today's video if you have any questions regarding this video please comment down below i will try and help you as much as i can like i said in the intro you can join my discord server and ask me there i'm always active there don't forget to subscribe and i will see you in my next video take care and peace